Yo! Good with y'all boys today though, man. I'm not gonna lie. I have not done a Guard Academy in a minute. I think it's been around two months. But y'all know that this is Guard Academy Season 5 Part 2. Where I give y'all the best settings, best jump shots, best drill moves, best guard builds in this entire game to enhance your game as a comp guard or a guard in general. I'm not gonna say too much. Not really gonna do too much. Yeah, boys, y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and more importantly, turn on all post notifications. I do not miss another video for your boy. <laughs> Let's get into it. First things first, when it comes to being a comp guard in this game, there's a difference between a comp guard, a dribble guard, and a regular regular guard that wants to be like LeBron James and Michael Jordan wants to do everything in the game. Shout out to the old heads, you feel what I'm trying to say? But we're not going to be doing that today, all right? So when it comes to being a comp guard in this game right here, right now, you're going to want to go from a 6'2 to a 6'4 guard. 6'2 to 6'4 guard are the best possible heights for comp guards in this game. Every single comp guard you're going to come across that you know, that I know, uses a under 6'5 guard build, which is 6'4, 6'3, 6'2, 6'1, and so on. So with that being said, for this guard build right here, we are going to go 6'4 height, point guard position, 175 weight, 6'5 wingspan as you boys can see on the screen right here. Y'all boys know every single time I give y'all a guard build, I give y'all my build, I give y'all the build that I use in the comp stage, I give y'all the build that suits me when it comes to 300 and stuff like that because I am a 300 guard. Now this build right here is the build that I use every single day. This is my main guard build, 6'4", 175, 6'5", wingspan. The reason why I went 6'5", wingspan, so I could get a 98 three-pointer. As y'all can see, the attributes are literally already done. If you want to copy this build, if you want to play like me, make this build right here. I'm not going to lie. 95 ball handle so we can get Steve Francis. 91 speed with so we can get speed booster on the fame. 70 pass accuracy. I know a lot of people probably going to look at the pass accuracy and be like, oh, Seb, a 70 pass accuracy is too low. When I pass the ball, it's going to look like a snail. No, y'all. I'm telling y'all this right now. 70 pass accuracy is perfect find in this game i have 70 pass accuracy 75 pass accuracy on every single one of my guard builds in this game i'm telling y'all listen to me i'm literally about to hit veteran three one of the best guards in the game i'm the best guard on youtube literally listen to me y'all i'm gonna get y'all boys right now i know a lot of y'all probably questioning me seb a zero driving duck a 25 driving duck no attributes on a driving duck it's kind of crazy no it's not y'all because we have an 80 driving layup which means that we get pro touch on hall of fame we get float game on gold and scooper on gold if y'all do not know i am literally gonna show y'all with this build right here how overpowered floaters are scoopers are stuff like that and i'm even going to show y'all how to do them if y'all don't know how to do them these are the most overpowered things in the game i'm telling y'all make this build 98 three-pointer even though you don't need 98 three-pointers game but all i know is that a 98 three ball with a 6-4 and petty mills jump shot is something disgusting in this game for real for real i'm telling y'all this is something serious as y'all may know this build is going to be called a three-point shot hunter shades of stephen curry trey young <laughs> that's literally all you need to know so for this guard right here this is kind of on the taller side this is kind of a bonus guard build right here this is my 6-6 200 pound demigod god okay y'all 6-8 wingspan point guard position obviously this guard build i have so much fun with because i'm literally about to show y'all the stats right now boom look at this 6-6 six, six monster right here this build is an actual 6-6 six, six demigod can do everything on the court as you can see 90 driving dunk I'm telling you this right now this is all you need when it comes to getting contact dunks in this game for the simple fact that you're still gonna get precision dunker that's for the meter dunk you're still gonna get that on gold no matter what then you got 92 three ball not gonna lie you do not get limitless range on gold as you get limitless range on gold with 96 three ball you still get agent threes on silver which is actually not that bad get blinders on gold dead on gold all that good stuff the pass accuracy is a 67 it's not that bad I'm not going to lie, just like I said earlier, if this is like on the taller side, this is a bonus guard, but this is for the twos and ones court, you know what I'm trying to say, you will feast on twos and ones court if you make this build for the twos and ones. 92 ball handles we could get, speed boost on gold and unpluckable on gold. Now we're on a stat that makes this build way more overpowered than what it really is, 53 interior defense, 
I'm not going to lie. It's not that high. You don't get no badges for this interior defense, but the attribute still matters. The same thing for perimeter defense. Even though we have no badges, we get no badges at all whatsoever with the 63 perimeter defense. The attribute still matters, y'all. Like, this is still going to help you on defense no matter what. Then we got an 85 steel, which gives us glove silver, interceptor silver, and right stick ripper silver. If you think you need a 91 steel or higher, like, as in, like, glove gold, interceptor gold, and right stick ripper gold to get steals in this game, telling y'all this right now you don't need that bro you can still press square one time from a person standing still or dribbling the ball in your face and you're gonna get it like probably 80 percent of the time i ain't gonna lie to y'all we got a 68 block so we can get chased down on bronze I'm not gonna lie you do not need it higher than the 68 you're still gonna be getting blocks either damn way especially if like you're right behind him and like your player's about to be on his back you know, like you're like your players on his ass pause you feel me you're still gonna be getting chased down you're still be getting blocks and stuff like that this is high enough for you to be getting blocks like that then we got 85 vertical i don't know about y'all but 85 vertical to me is overpowered in this game you're gonna be jumping high sometimes you're gonna be getting rebounds even though we have no rebounding at all on this build but i'm telling y'all you're gonna be getting rebounds on this build they ain't not standard so we can get handles for these on gold 71 acceleration you need a 71 acceleration so we can get speed booster on gold it kind of correlates with uh ball handle and speed ball so look boom see if you put it down you get it back to silver so yeah you need that on gold so shades of lonzo ball lamello ball floor space and slasher that's what you gotta know all right man so let's get into the jump shots i do this every single guard academy i'll give y'all boys two jump shots two of the best jump shots that i currently use of season five and i'm gonna also show y'all a good way to practice y'all shooting so y'all can master y'all jump shot in the best controller settings so y'all boys can be green bean chicken bean just like me in this game all right so starting off with the first jump shot y'all know that patty mills is on a complete tear it's been on the tear for a couple months now i was one of the first people to use patty mills base i hit starter three september 22nd and ended up using patty mills and never changing it from september i probably said the end of september to now so yeah y'all i have patty mills aka patrick mills mastered completely to the strength of this game so for the base obviously patrick mills if you cannot find patrick mills understand that you have to be a starter three to have patrick mills jump shot unlocked it's going to be on page 10 and the second base on page 10 upper release one we're gonna go with oscar robertson upper release two we're gonna go with stephen curry now i don't know if y'all see what i'm seeing but release height maxed out a plus defensive immunity uh, a and release speed is an A+, plus, but not a maxed out A+. Plus. If y'all boys do not know from my recent videos that I've been making about the secrets to shooting in this game, if you have a release speed of an A+, plus, but not fully maxed out, it is going to be easier to shoot smothers, time your smothers, and green your smothers in this game. Yes, greening smothers is kind of key with Patty Mills because that is what you have it on for to shoot over people and hit contestants and hit your 50-50s. If y'all know what a 50-50 is, it's basically when you shoot the ball when a player has his hands down and stuff like that that is the best thing to do with this base right here patrick mills as patrick mills is probably the best base in the game hands down so yeah though y'all as y'all see the release speed is an a plus but it's not a max star a plus which means that it makes your jump shot a little slower because it does impact the timing of your jump shot no matter what no matter if your release speed is maxed out where your release speed bar is maxed out no matter what y'all so just keep that in mind i just decided to spill that tea even though i spilled it already but no more tea to spill for this topic feel what i'm trying to say let's get into the second jump shot all right man so get into the second jump shot if you do not have patrick mills i'm not gonna lie your best option is stephen curry hands down so we're gonna go with stephen curry base upper release one trey man upper release two darius garland then we're gonna go to the blending and release speed release speed four out of five there is five release speeds in this game look as you can see very slow is one slow is two three is normal four is quick five is very quick so look boom four out of five so we can just put having on quick and for the blend upper release one trey man 42 percent upper release two darius garland 58 percent this is my favorite jump shot in this entire game when i had this jump shot on before i had patty mills i did not miss at all with this jump shot as i can see the grades if y'all really care about the grades and the time stability look at the time stability a minus defense immunity a and release speed maxed out now that is now here's the kicker y'all the reason why i went one less on the release speed bar 
is because the releases are too fast so i put it to four out of five so i can have quick instead of very quick so it can technically be the same as the first jump shot that i gave y'all but hey i'm not gonna lie if you want it to be even slower and even more glitchy and even more easier to time boom right there go normal go normal speed with it i'm not gonna lie the reason why i do these things is because once again it's easier to time you're smothered and it's easier to shoot over people and stuff like that so yeah y'all i kind of came up with this theory around maybe november or october that the slower your release speed is the easier it is to time your shot and the more consistent your shot will be because i'm not gonna lie y'all when you put it maxed out guess what it says very quick very quick has always been harder to time in any 2k for real for real y'all so if you're having trouble shooting a lower down your release speed and thank me later now that y'all have two very 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 good jump shots let me show y'all how to time them in the settings all right man now we're at the controller settings if y'all do not know this is a key key very important setting that you have to have and that you have to know about the shots i'm a visual cue right me personally i'll use push i did use release aka right here boom which is very late so let me just tell y'all the shots on visual cues are from last year convert to this year jump is very early set point is early push is late release is very late all right y'all so i did use release from the start of this game so probably around last month i did just switch to push around last month coming into this month right here i'm not gonna lie it's something about push to me push is probably the best now release has been a little slower than usual i'm not gonna lie i like my shots on visual cue slow to where it's easy to time but i don't like it too slow and i'm not gonna lie there's been a recent update in this season five update that you know kind of mess with the latency in this game so release just seems a little slower and it just does not seem like release and i'm not gonna lie there was times where release would feel just like push so i said you know what let me just put on push boom and i have not took it off ever since so if you want to use what i'm using which is push go ahead be my guest the jump shot meter off layout meter on free throw meter on these don't really matter probably except for the layout meter you kind of want it to be on so you can time your layups like floaters and stuff like that okay shots and layups you want to have the shot timing trigger effect off vibration function off if you're going to use your perfect release basically every time you green it's going to have like a green animation it's really going to show green animation on the screen you always want to have it by the rim basically everybody in this game has it by the rim so i mean if you want to be different you can either do left side right side above player stuff like that but i do by the rim when i do have it on all right now you want to go all the way down to where you see pro stick function pro stick orientation or off ball offense mode you want to have pro stick orientation to absolute right y'all if you have this setting on camera related it kind of messes with your dribbling for example if you're holding r2 and say you want to do a cross from the left to the right and you flick the right stick to the right it's gonna do some it's gonna do something else all right y'all you do not want this to be on camera related whatsoever absolute is the most important thing when it comes to dribbling on this game the off ball office mode camera related i really don't know what this really does for real i think it's like your your off ball movement and stuff like that like when you do a trick or something like that i don't know y'all i don't think this really matters on like what you have you can either put it to camera relative or absolute but i got on camera related and stuff like that pro state function you want this on default y'all you don't want to move this you don't want to touch this leave it on default as it will probably mess up your game as well just like pro state orientation all right man sir i got the best settings you have everything up to this point right here right now now i gotta show y'all how to green every single shot god damn this dude is tall as shit c73 what the hell okay listen though y'all you're gonna come right here come to the gator facility find your name boom 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 come in here hello, hello. gatorade, gatorade facility. 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 facility facility yeah y'all you want to gotta get the ball right here boom 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 okay y'all i'm not gonna lie the reason why we are in gator facility right here right now is for the simple fact that the gator facility is on hall of fame the gator facility is the best place to shoot because it is the same delay as the park stage all of that y'all so when you want to practice your jump shot make sure that you are practicing your jump shot in the gator facility every game mode in this game whether it's my career I'm trying to think of a game mode that has a different delay than the stage and the park and stuff like that which is probably where every single one of y'all is probably going to be playing at but yeah you kind of want to just sit here in the gator facility practice your shot but i'm not gonna lie maybe for an hour a day if you have a hard time shooting as you can see right here right now i'm not missing you just simply want to just keep shooting as many shots as you can 
depending on how much you struggle to shoot in this game, you want to make it longer. I'm not going to lie. If you're a pretty good shooter already and say you just get on the game, it's good to practice your shot and get your facility and then go to the park or something like that. I do that all the time. Say every time I'm about to start up a stream on Twitch, which my Twitch link is down below in the description below. You feel me? Go follow. But uh, that's besides the point. Every time I do get on, I do come in here for like maybe 30 minutes to an hour and practice my shot, even though I still shoot 70% from the field. It doesn't really matter though, y'all. If you are struggling to shoot, you shoot 40%, 30%. I'm not gonna lie, just come in here, practice for as long as you can, and I promise you, you're gonna thank me later because you're gonna be green bean, chicken bean in every single shot, just like the greatest teacher on YouTube, Mr. February. And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, one thing that y'all wanna keep in mind this entire time that I'm talking to y'all is stay with one jump shot, man. Stay with one jump shot. I promise you, you are not gonna regret it. Stay with one jump shot, a jump shot that you probably shoot the most with or you have probably had the most success with because the more you keep changing your jump shot, the worse you're gonna become at shooting. This is not a game where you just sit here and change your jump shot every single time and get used to a jump shot no y'all if you're used to one jump shot stick with that jump shot practice with that jump shot you're gonna master that jump shot though man all right man now if you made it this far into this video just know i thank you and you are an absolute legend if you have not subscribed yet or liked the video what are you doing but y'all probably waiting for this one last thing which is my drill moves and how to drill with my drill moves so here they go right here all right man so when it comes to my drill moves y'all know that my drill moves do not change whatsoever but i do not only make videos for the people that's already subscribed to me but for the newer people that have no idea what my drill moves are and for the newer people that just subscribed to me and stuff like that so here go my drill moves right here for the dribble style we have Kyrie irving dribble style it's Kyrie Irving dribble style is the best dribble style in this game there's a reason why i'm moving like this there's a reason why i'm dribbling like this the simple fact that Kyrie irving's dribble style exists in this game now, if you're on the taller side of the guards, you want to use LeBron James dribble style. Like, if you're a 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", guard, LeBron James dribble style is the best dribble style in this game. So, if you're a small guard, Kyrie Irving dribble style. If you're a tall guard, LeBron James dribble style. All right, man. So, for the signature size up, you do want to use Steve Francis for a small guard. For a tall guard, you want to use De'Aaron Fox. Small guards are basically the guards that are under the height of 6'4". A tall guard is a 6'5 and up. But, yeah, yo. That's what I mean when I say tall guard or small guard, just so y'all have an idea. But yeah, though, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Steve Francis is the best signature size up in this game, as you can see right here. Like, it's, it's just fast. This is the Steve Francis right here, y'all. Let me just show y'all right here, right now. Boom. 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 Okay, so whatever is fast in this game, you want to use whatever is the fastest because this game is already slow either way. So, yeah, you want the fastest moves that you possibly can get in this game. Well, this next move right here is going to be the regular breakdown combo. If y'all know what a regular breakdown combo is, it's basically this move right here. I'm going to do it right here, right now. So as you can see right there, that's the Isaiah Thomas regular breakdown combo. And then he has a little move at the end right there. I don't know if it's effective. This is why I always say that it doesn't really matter, but it is still glitchy. You, if you do do it, you will not get ripped out of this move. So yeah, yo, Isaiah Thomas regular breakdown combo. But this next move is going to be the aggressive breakdown combo. If y'all do not know what an aggressive breakdown combo is, it's basically this right here. You hold R2 and you want to flick up on the right stick. So as you can see right here, very glitchy. I ain't going to lie. The same thing as Isaiah Thomas. Is it necessary? I'll say nah, it's not really necessary. But when you do do it, you will not get ripped out of it at all. So that's why I have it on because it seems glitchy. Like any move that where the player is moving by himself, like the regular break.com and aggressive break.com will put it on. So look, Isaiah Thomas right here. This is like without holding R2, right? And putting and flicking up on the right stick. And this is holding R2 and flicking up on the right stick, which is LeBron. So yeah, right there, as you can see, aggressivebreak.com or regularbreak.com. So for this next move, it's gonna be the escape. I'll use Kimmel Walker. You can use Trey Young. I'm not gonna lie. If you are a tall guard, I'll probably say you could probably use, I mean, I don't really know. I feel like every single tall guard should have maybe uh, Trey Young or Kimmel Walker, depending on what your ball handle is. If you have an 85 ball handle, you could get, I think, only Kimmel Walker. You cannot get uh, Trey Young. But yeah, though, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Basically, Trey Young and Kimba Walker is basically the same thing, but except that Kimba Walker has a little swing to it and it's faster. You can cancel out your moves faster with Kimba Walker, and then Trey Young is longer, which means that you're going to have longer steps when you do the escape. 
for the behind the back, you want to use Jamal Murray, as you can see right here. The best behind the back in this entire game. No cap to you. I'm not going to lie. If that behind the back was to be patched, you would not be seeing Sebuary remake any more 24 content. The simple fact that Sebuary would not be able to get open, just like every other comp guard in this game would not be, be able to get open without that move. The behind the back is very crucial in this game. So, yeah, y'all. So, yeah, y'all. Just put on Jamal Murray behind the back and thank me later. For the hesitation, you are going to want to be using Pro. Pro is the best hesitation for every single guard build in this game. It doesn't matter if you're 6'8", 6'7", 6'5", 6'4", 6'2". It doesn't matter at all. So for the step back, I am using John Wall. It does depend on your play style. A lot of people have to use John Wall because a lot of guards on this game are not small guards like me. Basically, the only small guards like me are the comp guards in this game. So yeah, though, y'all. They either use Curry or John Wall. I'm using John Wall right now because it helps me uh, do the 21 speed boost faster and stuff like that. So, yeah, though, not going to lie, either use Curry or John Wall. Yes, sir. Uh, if y'all finish this entire video, I appreciate you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn on all post notifications so you do not miss another banger like one of these or any informative videos, any content videos, any type of video that I do create. I'm not going to lie. I did not want this video to be this long, even though it was still this long. If I would have gave y'all a dribble tutorial, it would have been even longer. But, A, hey, that's for the next upcoming video videos to come i love y'all boys so 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 much make sure that y'all do go down link in the description below and follow every single one of my socials if you do want to be taken to guard academy i will be taking a couple subscribers to guard academy this year towards the end of the year y'all make sure y'all do that once again i love y'all boys i'll see y'all in the next one Woo! love y'all boys man